Coming up on High School Quiz Show, it's British International School of Boston. Taking on Canton High School. That's next on High School Quiz Show. Major funding for High School Quiz Show is provided by Safety Insurance. Cyber attacks aren't going away. You can talk to an independent agent about cyber coverage from Safety Insurance. It covers data restoration, data recreation, system restoration, and more. Safety Insurance will help you manage life storms, even the cyber kind. Additional funding is provided by the Museum of Science. The Museum of Science. Trekking around the Arctic has never been easier. You can get lost in the mystery and find beauty in Arctic adventure, exploring with technology. On exhibit now, only at the Museum of Science. More at MOS.org. Hi, everybody, and welcome to High School Quiz Show. I'm Billy Costa, your host. In last week's match between Andover High School and Lincoln Sudbury Regional High School, Andover defeated Lincoln Sudbury to move on to the quarterfinals. In today's match, we welcome back British International School of Boston and Canton High School making their quiz show debut. And on British International, we have Tara. Hello, Tara. Hi. Good to see you. You look very comfy there. Very much. Uh, we also have Harry. How you doing, Harry? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Welcome to High School Quiz Show and good luck. Hello, Sabrina. Hi. Good to see you. And Annabelle, how are you doing? I'm uh, doing quite well, thank you. All right. Those are the players. The alternates are Miguel and Faisal and Coach William Mitchell competing for Canton. We've got Tiffany. Hello, Tiffany. Hi. Good to see you. Welcome to High School Quiz Show. Hello, Hannah. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm just fine. Thank you very much. Allison, how are you feeling? Good. You feel good? You psyched and pumped? Yep. All right. And Lavana, how about you? How are things? Well, oh, thank you. Ready to go? Yep. All right. Those are the players from Canton with alternate Anthony and coach Joel Chamberlain. <laughs> Now, the competition has four rounds, toss-up, head-to-head, category, and lightning round. Throughout the game, a green light is a correct answer, a red light is an incorrect answer, and a gray light means that no answer was given. And we start with the toss-up round. All players are active, and with a correct answer, can contribute 10 points per question to their team score. There are no point deductions for wrong answers. And uh, teams, if you're ready, good luck. Let's play. If a man does not keep pace with his companions, perhaps it is because he hears a different drummer. What prominent transcendentalist wrote this in Walden? Is it Ralph Waldo Emerson, Henry David Thoreau, or Margaret Fuller? Henry David Thoreau. According to Forbes, what female singer is now officially a billionaire uh, thanks largely to her makeup line Fenty Beauty? Is it Madonna, Beyonce, or Rihanna? Rihanna is a billionaire. In uh, 2019, Dwayne The Rock Johnson joined Native Hawaiian protesters trying to stop construction of a giant telescope on what mountain? The tallest in Hawaii, Diamond Head, Kohala, or Mauna Kea? Mauna Kea. What nation is home to nearly 80% of the world's 29,000 rhinos? South Africa, Nepal, or India? South Africa. Take a look at your screens. In 1864, Abraham Lincoln chose a new running mate. What first term vice president seen here was unexpectedly dropped from the ticket and replaced with Andrew Johnson? Was it William Seward, Edwin Stanton, or Hannibal Hamlin? Hannibal Hamlin is the answer. For college students who live on campus, how should they be counted in the U.S. Census? At their college address, at their home address, at either address. At their college address. In June of 2020, in the wake of protests over the death of George Floyd, 
Uh, the Paramount Network canceled what long-running reality show that glorified police. Chicago PD, law and order, or cops? Cops is the correct answer. Snails, slugs, and other mollusks belong to what class in taxonomy that literally means stomach foot? Cephalopod, gastropod, or brachiopod? Gastropod is the answer. And which of the following is a synonym for hackneyed, trite, slow, or humorous? Trite is the answer. Take a look at your screens. Here comes your next question. Hi, I'm Sujata Yadav, Chief Marketing Officer from Eastern Bank. Here's my question. Michelangelo, Galileo, and other prominent figures of the Renaissance depended on the patronage of what powerful banking family of Florence? Is it the Medici family, the Gonzaga family, or the Borghese family? The Medici family is the answer. In December 2019, President Trump was impeached over allegations. He broke the law by pressuring what country to dig up damaging information on Joe Biden, Russia, Belarus, or Ukraine? Ukraine. On July 27, 1794, what instigator of the French Revolution's reign of terror was overthrown and arrested by the National Convention? Talleyrand? Denton or Robespierre? Robespierre is the answer. Uh, the gold medal favorite in the women's 100 meters, what American sprinter was suspended from the 2020 Tokyo Olympics after testing positive for marijuana? Allison Felix, Shikari Richardson, or Brittany Reese? Shikari Richardson. The 1796 U.S. election resulted in a President John Adams and a Vice President Thomas Jefferson from opposing parties. The second place finisher is no longer named Vice President thanks to what constitutional amendment? 10th Amendment, 11th Amendment, or 12th Amendment? 12th Amendment. And the Roman numeral L represents what number? 50, 500, or 1,000? 50 is the answer. What Kurt Vonnegut novel is about Billy Pilgrim, a World War II soldier who's become unstuck in time? Cat's Cradle, Breakfast of Champions, or Slaughterhouse Five? Slaughterhouse Five is the answer. An enormous column in Rome commemorates what emperor who expanded the Roman Empire to its farthest boundaries? Trajan, Hadrian, or Octavian? Trajan is the answer. As the League of Nations began to fall apart in the 1930s, uh, Japan occupied Manchuria, Germany annexed Austria, and Italy invaded what present-day country in eastern Africa? Somalia, Ethiopia, or Kenya? Ethiopia is the answer. Atomic number 17 refers to what element commonly added to drinking water supplies to prevent waterborne diseases such as cholera, and typhoid fever. Is it chlorine, calcium, or iodine? Chlorine. What continent is home to Mount Erebus, the southernmost active volcano on Earth? South America, Antarctica, or Australia? Antarctica is the answer there. And that's the bell ending the toss-up round. The score right now, British International, 450 points. Canton High School, 360 points. Great round, guys. The head-to-head -head round is next, but first we'll take a few minutes to get to know the players, and we'll do it by way of a question, and I've got it right here in my hand. Everybody gets to answer. We'll start over here with uh, British International. So, Tara, if you were competing in the Winter Olympics, what sport would you compete in and why? I would compete in the luge because I would like traveling at such a fast speed. Mm. Well, yeah, the luge scares me. Uh, how about you, Harry? The Super G skiing, because I like the adrenaline. There you go, Super G. Sabrina, how about you? Uh, the Alpine ski, because I've been doing it since I was very young. Oh, good for you. Someday the Olympics, possibly? No. <laughs> Annabelle, how about you? Uh, yeah, I would do the slalom, because it's just really fun. Oh, ow, my knees. Over to Kent, we go. Tiffany, how about you? Olympics. I would say speed skating because I think it combines the best parts of casual ice skating and track. 
and pressure pack too. How about you, Hannah? I would do curling because I think I have a lot of experience with that motion since I mop a lot at work. You mop a lot at work. Uh, Allison, how about you? I would say bobsledding because it looks pretty fast and fun. Oh, yeah. Lavana. Um, I'd compete in figure skating, specifically para skating, because it requires a lot of trust. Oh, and it's very elegant, too. Okay, great job. It's time to go head to head. So I say we do it right now. Okay, in this round, correct answers add 10 points to the team total. Incorrect answers now result in a 10 point deduction. And if a player does not answer, there's no impact on the score. So good luck, teams, and uh, here we go. Anonagon is a regular polygon with uh, how many sides? Nine or ten? Nine. How many women have walked on the moon? Zero or one? Zero. What Dickens novel begins it with the best of times? It was the worst of times. Great Expectations or A Tale of Two Cities? A Tale of Two Cities. In what U.S. state did General Lee surrender to General Grant, finally ending the Civil War? South Carolina or Virginia? Virginia. Which continent accounts for about 90% of malaria cases worldwide, Africa or Asia? Africa. The Danube River passes through what capital city of Slovakia? Bucharest or Bratislava? Bratislava. Modeled after Chairman Mao's Little Red Book, what Libyan leader released the Little Green Book of political philosophy in 1975? Was it Yasser Arafat or Muammar Gaddafi? Muammar Gaddafi. What European capital was the official host of the 2012 Summer Olympics, Paris or London? London is the correct answer there. And that's the end of the round. Now let's take a look at the score. British International, 500 points. Canton High School, 350 points. Great job, teams. Great job. Next up is the category round with the following categories. We the People, Palace Intrigue, Honey, I'm Chrome, <laughs> Playing Defense, MK, and Pyramid Scheme. Now, teams will be able to select two five-question categories, and we'll have the option to toss one question per category to the other team. And yes, teams are able to confer. And uh, British International, who's the spokesperson going to be? Me. Okay. And uh, Canton High School, how about you? Me. Okay. And uh, here's the deal, Canton. You've got a little ground to make up, so you get to choose the first category. Okay, We the People sounds like history. Do you guys want to do We the People? Yeah, sure. Works. Okay, We the People. We the People. So here we go, and good luck. Questions about civics and for 10 points. What series of 85 essays defending the proposed new U.S. Constitution was published between 1787 and 1788 by Alexander Hamilton, James Madison, and John Jay? The Federalist Papers, right, guys? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, final answer, Federalist Papers. And that would be correct. Now for 15 points. Every child born on U.S. soil is automatically a native-born citizen. Birthright citizenship is protected under what constitutional amendment? I think it's like the th third. Was that like quartering? The fourth no, I think was quartering. The fourth was quartering. Yeah. Final answer, third amendment? It's the 14th amendment. And now for 20 points in 2021, Missouri passed a new law that bans police from enforcing federal gun rules. Uh, the Justice Department said the law violates the Constitution because of what clause that establishes the, the principle that federal law takes precedence over state law? Well, is this the 10th one? It's a clause, so... Yeah, but, like, do you guys want to toss? Um, sure. Toss uh, we want to toss this question. Okay, British International, do you have an answer? Isn't it supremacy clause? 
Just go with whatever you think, Tara. Okay, I think it's a supremacy clause. And it is the supremacy clause uh, for 20 yeah. points. And now back to you, Canton, this time for 25 points. Juneteenth is now a national holiday to commemorate the end of slavery. On June 19th, 1865, Union General Gordon Granger and 2,000 federal troops arrived in what U.S. state to enforce the emancipation of its slaves? Texas. 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 Fine answer, Texas. And that would be a correct answer for 25 points. Now for 30 points, the Constitution requires the president to be a natural-born citizen, at least 35 years old, and a U.S. resident for at least how many years? I feel like it's 12. Um, okay, do you want to go 20? Yeah. Final answer, 20. Final answer, 20. The answer is 14. And now we go to British International, and you get to choose a category now. Okay, so uh, kind of... Yeah, I don't know. I honestly think I'd be better at, like, palace intrigue because it sounds, you know, like, historical or pyramid scheme might be about Egypt, but I don't... Uh, palace intrigue, personally. Okay, let's do palace intrigue. Uh, these are questions about palaces. And for 10 points, built by King Louis XIV, what stunning palace outside the city of Paris is a symbol of the absolute monarchy system? Versailles. It's, uh, Versailles. Versailles, oui, oui. Final answer? Yeah, answer is Versailles. Uh, the Palace of Versailles is correct now for 15 points. What present-day city is the site of Topkapi Palace, the main residence and administrative headquarters of the Ottoman sultans in the 15th and the 16th centuries? Is it Ankara? I know the um, Ottoman No, no, it's not Ankara. Ankara is modern, I think. Should, uh, I, I feel like it should be Istanbul. Istanbul wasn't conquered till halfway through the 15th century. Constantinople originally, Byzantine. Final answer, so I, Tara? Can we go uh, back to that? go with Istanbul. Okay, Istanbul. Istanbul is the correct answer for 15 points. And now for 20 points, during World War II, King George VI and his wife, Queen Elizabeth, refused to leave what London palace, even though it sustained nine direct hits during the Blitz? Buckingham. Oh. I'm sure it's this. I don't know if there's any other main palaces in London. Uh, Not really. <laughs> yeah. I, like yeah, I think Buckingham Palace. Our answer is Buckingham Palace then. That's our final answer. Jolly good. Uh, Buckingham Palace is the correct answer. Now for 25 points. What U.S. state is home to Yolani Palace, the nation's only royal palace? I can imagine uh, it's going to be like... Is it? No, 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 no. It should be the, the name Iolani. That sounds Hawaiian. So Hawaii. Oh, yeah, yeah, Hawaii. That's Iolani. Right. Yeah, our answer is Hawaii. And Hawaii is the correct answer. Now, for 30 points, uh, now part of the Hermitage Art Museum, what St. Petersburg Palace was the main residence of the Russian monarchy until 1917? I think it might be called something like the Peterhof or something. The what? The what, sorry? You can talk. Uh, no. It could either be Peterhof or Winter Palace. I'm not really sure which one. Right. Go with Winter Palace. Yeah. The Final answer? Final answer is Winter Palace. The Winter Palace is the correct answer. And now we go back to you, Canton High School, and you'll need to pick a category. Do you guys want to go with Honey, I'm Chrome? Sure. Yeah. Uh, honey, I'm Chrome. Honey, I'm Chrome. <laughs> uh, questions about fictional robots and for 10 points. In the Marvel Comics universe, what superhero android is married to Wanda Maximoff? Vision. Vision. Right. Vision. Yeah. Final answer, Vision. Vision is the correct answer now for 15 points. According to George Lucas, the entire story of Star Wars is actually being told by what small whistle-talking robot? R2-D2? Like the small... Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Uh, uh, final answer, R2-D2. And that's a correct answer. Now for 20 points. In the Pixar film, WALL-E, uh, WALL-E uh, becomes smitten with what sleek robot whose mission is to search for any self-sustaining plant life on Earth? Eva. Right. Eva? Yeah. Uh, final answer, Eva. And that is a correct answer. And now for 25 points. 
Uh, the main protagonist of the Transformers franchise, what heroic leader has died more than 25 times across movies, comics, cartoons, and video games? Bumblebee? I don't, I don't know. Wait, wait. Optimus Prime? I think that's... Yeah. Uh, Financer Optimus Prime. And that's a correct answer now for 30 points. On Star Trek The Next Generation, uh, Brent Spiner plays what android that's been implanted with an emotion chip to help them understand human behavior. I think it's just called like data or something. Go with data. Fine answer, data. Uh, data is the correct answer. And now we go back to British International. Do you guys want to go with pyramid scheme or MK? MK sounds interesting. Okay. MK, I mean, we'll, we'll go with MK. <laughs> okay. Uh, questions about people with the initials MK. And please give both the first and the last names. And for 10 points, what Massachusetts native who played Kelly Kapoor in the sitcom The Office is the author of the memoir, Is Everyone Hanging Out Without Me? Mindy Kaling as our final answer. Mindy Kaling is the answer now for 15 points. In her book, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up, what Japanese author says to discard any object that does not spark joy? Mary Kondo. Yeah, Marie Kondo. Marie, Mary Kondo. That's her final answer. Final answer is right, Marie Kondo. Now for 20 points, what actor played the title roles in 1989's Batman and 2014's Birdman? Michael something. Michael Keating? My Michael Keating or Keaton? I need a final answer. Michael Keaton? Uh, judges will accept. It's... Michael Keaton. And now for 25 points. An original judge on Project Runway, what famous name and fashion is one of the few high-end designers to offer plus-size clothing? Uh, no, like Tara, can you think of any designers whose initials are MK? Michael Kors. Oh, Michael Kors. That's our answer. That is a correct answer for 25 points. <laughs> now for 30 points, what actress who played Jackie Burkhardt on That 70s Show fled Soviet Ukraine during the Cold War and came to the United States on a refugee visa at age seven? Mila Kunis. Mila Kunis is a correct answer. And that is the bell that ends the category round. The score right now, British International, 720 points. Canton High School, 440 points. Let's hear it for both teams. Okay, we are headed into the final round of play, the lightning round. All players are active, and with each response, can add or subtract 20 points to their team's total. A decision not to answer does not impact the score. We have 10 questions in all teams, good luck. What modern day city was the capital of the Aztec Empire, Lima or Mexico City? Mexico City. As seen from the Earth, what moon phase appears three or four days after a new moon? Is it waxing crescent or waxing gibbous? Waxing crescent. Which country shares a land border with Mexico? Honduras or Guatemala? Guatemala. In a tale of two cities, Dr. Manette has been driven mad after spending 18 years in what prison? The Tower of London or the Bastille? The Bastille. In the film Black Mass, Johnny Depp plays what real-life figure from organized crime? Al Capone or Whitey Bulger? Whitey Bulger. In ancient Roman religion and myth, what two-faced god of transitions was often depicted over doorways? Janus or Gemini? Janus. Uh, what term refers to the most common isotope of hydrogen with one proton and no neutrons? Is it protium or deuterium? Protium. Major League Baseball has two spring training leagues, the Cactus League in Arizona and what league in Florida? Grapefruit League or Orange League? Grapefruit League. What African nation is the setting for the 1948 novel Cry? The beloved country, is it South Africa or Liberia? South Africa. The Finger Lakes are a group of narrow glacial lakes in what U.S. state, New Jersey or New York? New York is the answer there. And that is the bell, the end of the game. The winning team this week 
British International School of Boston, 760 points. Canton High School finishes with a total score of 300 points. So congratulations to both teams for a great round. So British International now moves on to play the winner of next week's match between uh, the Bromfield School and Sharon High School. Until then, don't forget, you can play a bonus round of High School Quiz Show on your Alexa or Google Home devices. Just ask your smart speaker to play High School Quiz Show. And that's it. We'll see you next week. You can watch High School Quiz Show anytime on our YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram for a look behind the scenes and quizzes that'll keep you thinking. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter for more photos and video. And add some competition to your conversations by sending your friends High School Quiz Show gifts. Major funding for High School Quiz Show is provided by Safety Insurance. Whether you prefer email, texting, or a live person, Safety Insurance is available to help you file a claim and pay your bill. Safety Insurance. We'll help you manage life's storms. Learn more at safetyinsurance.com. Additional funding is provided by Eastern Bank. When our communities need a voice, Eastern Bank steps up, stands strong, and does not stay silent. When times get tough, good speaks up. Join us for good. This is what it sounds like.